and welcome to another episode of What is in My Cellar? I haven't done one of these in a while because, well, I haven't really gone to my cellar and looked for something. So which one do I have today? Well, this is from Fuggles and Warlock and this has actually been something that has been in my cellar for about two and a half years, maybe. And it is the dark side. Kind of appropriate since we had a lunar eclipse last night. And it's a Russian Imperial Stout coming in at 9.9% alcohol by volume. This is a limited series, a 2016 edition, and it is pretty much a Russian Imperial Stout. Coming at 40 IBUs, and it's a bomber, and it's got water, barley malts, oats, hops, and yeast. Well, we all know that Fuggles and Warlock is a great brewery. Let's find out if this cellared well or not. Nice little hiss off of there, so it does still have some carbonation. And let's have a quick peek here, shall we? All right. So we do have a dark beer, not quite fully black and pitch black. There is still some translucency around there. Uh, the t head is nice and tanned, light tan on it, not the dark one that you normally see with bigger stouts. Overall looking not that bad and there's still some good carbonation on there. The smell. Getting a lot of hop off of there. Interesting. Like a fresh sort of hop. Wild. All right, folks. Cheers. There's that char. Wow. You do have a very deep burnt malt flavor. And wow, that's that's some kind of burnt. That's actually pretty damn good. That's that's a Russian Imperial Stout. It subsides after the second sip, but it's still actually really good. Uh, you get that burnt slash roasted malt at the very end, but you don't get an alcohol burn. Coming at 9.9%, there's nothing there. That is good. Well, did it age? Quite nicely, actually. It stayed pretty constant from the sound, from the sounds of things. It was definitely one that I would probably think I would have a few times. That's a really damn good beer. Huh. Fuggles and Warlock, you guys know your shit. Plain and simple. Anyways, folks, have you had this one before? Which varieties have you had? They've made a few of them. This is the one that I grabbed and I picked up and I had in my cellar for a couple of years. And I was actually glad I did. I'm kind of glad that I had this one overall. All right, folks, till next time, I am PK saying cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, all that jazz that I don't really mention on my videos, but I am this time. Till next time, cheers.